We all know that lit means downgrade, so it makes sense that the Xiaomi 13 lit is not as good as the Xiaomi 13. But the difference between the two phones is so big that we don't even believe they should be grouped together in one series. In fact, you won't be surprised at all if you know that the lit series is called CV in China, and it is a line of selfie phones designed for women. But this time around, the Xiaomi CV4 Pro seems to have made some changes. By the way, if you want to get your hands on this might be Xiaomi 14 lit early, check out gigwells.com, link down below. Looking at the packaging, the biggest difference from the previous gen is that the CV4 Pro has this small red logo. So before we even opened the box, we already knew that the cameras has Leica support. The car pin and manual are still in the old place in the box. The difference is that this time they gave a colorful sticker. The phone case is still a hard, clear PC case, but with some designs. There's a small frosted area on the right side, which is the same design as the back panel of the phone. At the bottom is a 67 watt charger and a charging cable. That's all the accessories for the CV4 Pro. I have to say that the 4 Pro is the most beautiful CV series phones I've ever seen. This green version in particular has a vegan leather back cover, but splits with a decorative plate. Other versions have a full glass back cover. The camera module is shiny and there's a Leica logo here of course, as the price has gone up and the frame has finally been replaced with a metal one. However, the weight hasn't increased much and is still under 180 grams. The phone has also gotten thinner, which is one of the strengths of the CV series as always. There are almost no regular size of phone that are lighter than it, and dual speakers are back. So, what's the cost? First of all, it doesn't have wireless charging, and the wireless charging power is only 67 watt. The battery capacity is only 4700 million. I'm totally fine with these costs. How about you? Can you guys accept it? The changes in appearance also appears in the screen. The CV4 Pro has the same screen form factor as the Xiaomi 14 Pro, a macro curved screen. To me, it's just a better looking and a touchable straight screen. The specs of the screen are also very similar to the 14 Pro. Of course, the resolution is not as high. After all, the price difference is there. The biggest upgrade to the CV4 Pro is this processor. Looking at the hype of Qualcomm's newest chip, the new Snapdragon 8 S Gen 3 could be the new king of mid-range phone chips. Since this phone is not officially available for sale yet, I can only check the Antutu bench score for now. 1.4 million points which is a little less than the Agent 2. Since this phone has just been activated and is very hot, all the scores doesn't mean a lot. More performance test results will come in the full review video, so remember to sub to our channel. The CV4 Pro's rear camera has also been upgraded. The main camera is now a Light Fusion 800 image sensor, and there's a new 2x standard lens, which still doesn't have OIS, but is much better than the CV3's 2 megapixel macro camera. Most importantly, Leica's algorithms have been migrated to the phone. The front camera is still the same two 32 megapixel sensors. There's no front flash, but there's a new master portrait mode. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra also has this mode, and just like 14 Ultra, it can only be used on the rear camera. Even with the new processor in the CV4 Pro, the front camera still doesn't support a 4K 60fps recording, but the field of view is very wide. If you can accept the frame rate of only 30, it's not bad for recording vlogs with it. If you have a beauty mode on, then you will only be able to record the 1080p videos. To stop him from destroying the world with space distortion, let's skip to the next part. Although the main customers of the CV series are women, but as a man, I'm a little bit tempted too. The CV4 Pro becomes more attractive after making up for the shortcomings in performance and the rear camera. The price has gone up, but I think it's still affordable. After all, there are still a lot of upgrades. If it does become a global version of the Xiaomi 14 lit in the future, it should sell well this time. So you should definitely check it right now on geekwheels.com. Alright, I'm Wei Fangzhen China. See you next time.